few days ago this lady contacted me and her story was that she has been going out with her boyfriend for a while the guy doesn't call her she's the only one who makes the calls and sometimes when she calls he doesn't pick up and he waits for more than 24 hours to even return the missed calls and then she fell sick and she called the guy he didn't pick up she called the second time and told the guy i'm not feeling well the guy said okay and for three days he never called to check up on the fourth day he decided to call to, to check up and then according to the lady she didn't pick the call and she was asking me do i think she not picking the call was the right thing she did you see when a man is so much into you he does everything to make sure that you are happy in his possible best but when he's not so much into you he does things that so clearly that he's not so much into you but as women we try to ignore those facts. We try to make excuses for them. We try to say, oh, maybe he's busy. Oh, maybe he even lost my number. Maybe he just wants some space. Maybe he's up to something. Maybe, and we try to make excuses. So maybe he will change. Maybe because, my dear, pay attention to this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you signs that shows that he doesn't want the relationship again. If you're able to pay attention to these important facts, it will save you from an inevitable heartbreak. If you are interested, please stick with me. Let's do this. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Akia Nyami, and I welcome you back to my channel. If this is the first time you are watching my video, let me introduce myself to you. I'm a relationship expert and a life coach. On this channel, we learn about life, relationship, dating, love, marriage, in fact, everything. And so please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification button so that you can be part of this community. So the first thing that shows that he doesn't want the relationship again is when he calls you only when he needs something. And that can be when he needs physical intimacy, when he needs emotional support, when he needs you to do a chore for him. Now, when your boyfriend doesn't call you the whole day, and then in a night around 9 p.m., he calls you and says, Babes, I miss you. Can you come around, my dear? To me, that is a booty call. He is not missing you. He is just missing something that he can offer. He doesn't check up. He calls you and tells you, my friends are dating. Come and watch for me. He doesn't care. He calls you and tells you, my dear, my dear, my dear. <laughs> Please. He only calls when he needs something. It's a clear sign that he, he doesn't want the relationship again or he's not so much into you. The second sign is that when he's cold and hot, he's on and off. This week, he's so amazing. He's so cares. He's so calls you. Then the following week, he's off. You call him, you don't get him. He doesn't give you any reason. When your boyfriend is busy, you know. He doesn't give you any reason. You don't even know who his whereabouts. And he's just giving excuses. And it's not something that he's doing once. He, it's something that he does it consistently. Almost all the time, he's on and off. And you are so confused. Ah. Is this guy really into me? Are we really doing this? Is, is, does this guy really want this relationship, my dear? If he's so much into you, he will not be on and off. The probability that you have a competition is very high. And he's trying to consider both of you. So he's trying to make time for both of you. Or maybe the triple of you. <laughs> so please, if he's on and off, please, please pay attention to this. The third thing is that when you meet, it is only for sex. This lady said, when my boyfriend visits me, before he comes, every evening before he comes, I cook for him. He comes when he eats, then he eats, then that is it. He comes to eat the food, we have sex, and then he goes. There is nothing like, like there is nothing outside the food and the sex. It is only about sex. You are not able to bond as lovers. You are not able to play together. You are not able to joke together. You are not able to, nothing. It is only food and sex, my dear. When you meet and it is only about sex, please, he doesn't want any other thing aside what you can offer him in bed. And so he doesn't really want a relationship with you. A man can want sex with you and not want a relationship with you because men see sex to be physical. Women see sex to be emotional. Before a woman avails herself to you to have sex with her, she would love you before, aside she being a sex worker or a hookup or whatever. But in a relationship, a woman will only allow you to sleep with her when she feels something. But a man can sleep with you, can have sex with you without feeling anything. So please don't, in fact, don't confuse the two. So when he meets you and it is only for sex, my dear. The next thing is that he is always busy. In this era, nobody has time. 
but we make time for the things that are important to us. We prioritize the things that are important to us. If he goes 24 hours without checking up on you, my dear, he is not busy. He's not. Ju he's just not seeing you to be a priority. In this era, nobody can go 24 hours without pressing his or her phone. Sometimes, even when we are eating, we are still pressing our phones. He is so busy and he's always giving excuses, my dear. Please. Please, the probability that he's making time for other people who are important to him is very high. The next thing is that he's emotionally unavailable. He doesn't open up. He doesn't communicate with you. He doesn't tell you what is going on in his life. When you ask him how was work, he said it's okay. How is life? Everything is fine. And that is it. You, you, you see that he's building a barrier. He doesn't want to... He doesn't want to open up so that you can even give an advice or you can take decisions together. But you'd rather talk to him, you tell him, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm planning, but it is one way. And he's just emotionally unavailable, my dear. If that is the case, I'm not sure he's so much. If a man loves you, I always, if a man loves you, my dear, you will know. But if he, do, if he doesn't love you, you are always confused. So please, if he's emotionally unavailable, he's not so much into the, he doesn't want a relationship with you. And then he's never ready to meet parents, both sides. He's never ready to meet your parents. He's never ready to introduce you to his parents. And whenever you bring that topic, he comes up with excuses. I'm going to combine this with my next topic. Aside the fact that he's not even ready to introduce you to his parents or meet your parents, he's also not ready to meet your friends or introduce you to his friends. And so when it happens like that, the relationship becomes a secret relationship. The only people who knows you are dating yourself is yourself. So when something happens, in case an incident happened, an accident, something, who are you going to tell? And you think that you are in a relationship. Meanwhile, you, you are even ready to introduce him to your friends, to your family. But he says, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready to meet them. Hold on, my dear. No. It doesn't show that he, he wants the relationship. He doesn't really want the relationship. And then whenever you bring the topic of marriage, he acts weird. Why do we go into relationship? We go into relationship to study each other. We don't go into relationship just for the relationship sake. And then we all hope that the relationship will end in marriage. You think that everything is okay to you. You don't see any other reason why this guy is not even popping the question. And when you try it up, and then you, when you try to bring up the, the topic of marriage, he starts acting weird. Sometimes he wants to change the topic. Sometimes he doesn't even want to talk about it. Sometimes he tells you, and you every day you want to talk about marriage. The only thing you are concerned is about marriage. If I'm not concerned about marriage in the relationship, why are we in the relationship? So if he's always acting weird when you bring up the topic of marriage, my dear, please sit down and rethink. And then when you are in a relationship and then your family and your friends think that the relationship is toxic, I think you have to sit down and reconsider it. I think he doesn't really want the relationship. Sometimes when you are in love, when signs are there, you don't see the signs. When you are directly involved, you don't see. But when everybody around you is telling you, my dear, this relationship is not helping. This relationship is toxic. Because you are emotionally involved, you don't really take time to look at it from the logical, from the relative point of view. And so you always want to think with your emotions. When that happens, my dear, you make a mistake. So when everyone around you is telling you that, no, this relationship is toxic, then I think that you have to sit down and reconsider it. So please, when a man shows you these signs, do not ignore them. Do not make excuses for them. It is better you pay attention to them and then you decide whether you want to hold on or move on so that you save yourself from an inevitable breakup. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. As I said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Namikam.